Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band players' signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> what the hell is this? You want to make money? Get a job. <sighs> Whatever. Gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Well, it's out of here. Holy cow! You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. Oh, wow. Sorry, David. Look, it's cool you're trying to cheer me up. Really. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, and avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Ooh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Garcia takes one for the team. That's gotta hurt. God damn it, Javi. I fucking warned you. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Garcia's hot streak is cooling. On purpose. I think I got a few more swings in me. You in? Ah, oh, David. You're leaving already? You said you were happy, so I'm done here. Come on, I thought we'd hang out all day. I'm not gonna spend all day as your cheerleader. You're a grown-up, and I've had enough. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. You tried to help me, yet yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Dude, g going back to the army isn't going to fix what's wrong with your life. You should just you know, think this through a little more. I have been thinking it through for months. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. <sighs> My mom and dad will worry themselves sick. You didn't see how stressed they got last time you deployed. Life's hard for everybody, Javi. Except you. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah, we good. Come on, let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Get in there, you two. 
Joan's gonna figure out what to do with you. She's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them- And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this. I know you Richmond folks are a little flexible when it comes to doing what's right. I don't buckle just because it's the easy thing to do. You talk a big game, but talk isn't going to get you out of this mess. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. After I brought you in, after I saved your asses, this is how you treat me. Betrayal? Lies? I wanted to follow your plan, David. Kate wanted to escape. She's scared. You're telling me my own wife tried to fuck me over? I don't believe that for a second. Do you see what Joan's doing? This is a power grab, pure and simple. I could have found a way to protect all of you. But now? Now you're all on your own. You gotta still have some friends here, right? She managed to flip Clint and Lingard to her side somehow. Without them, it's hopeless. It's everyone out for themselves these days. Hey, we can still win this. You and me together should be able to take down some punk-ass soldiers. <laughs> you are so goddamn naive, Javi. We're outnumbered here. I could be far away from here. There are other communities out there. You can't give up. Gabe didn't give up on you. And Kate? I said, what about Kate? You gave up on Kate years ago. You left us waiting while the world fell apart. She didn't forget it. Shut up! <clears throat> you're dead to me. If we get out of here, you're on your own. I'm through with you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Typical brothers, fighting like boys. You bitch. I fucking trusted you! Careful! Don't give him a concussion. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion. If you thought David was a problem, I got news for you. I'm even worse. <laughs> oh, please. It's sad how we ended up here, but Clinton Lingard agree, you've become a problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. David deserves a fair shot. He doesn't need to be replaced. If he was as good as you say, he wouldn't be in this position, would he? You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. Bullshit! I understand you're angry with me, but let's talk about it in private. Bring him with us. I think it's clear. Let's move. Okay, lead the way. They're gonna be looking for you soon. It's only a matter of time before they find the room empty. I won't let them catch us. Because I'm coming for them first. That doesn't sound like the smartest thing I've ever heard, Javi.
Come here. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facilities right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Who were you expecting? I know this wouldn't exactly look innocent to Joan or David. Is it innocent? Yes, I guess, I think so. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. All right. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Hmm. <sighs> Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. Oh, that... You'll get the hang of it. How? It's exactly like anything else. This isn't exactly like anything else. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Here we go. Hey, 
Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Thank you for, you know, all that. I know I'm not the best person for this. I always hoped Kate would talk to Mariana, and I'd just be there for support. You weren't so bad. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural-born mother. It's a butterfly! <laughs> Goofball, want another? Which one to do next? Hmm. How about... Bark, bark! Down, boy. <laughs> That's a pretty good dog. Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Just a second, goofball. Voila! Get away from him! Is he okay? Shh. Still not bitten, little guy. You know... First time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. She called me family. I owe it to her. You're the only mama he's got now. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It's worth dying for. I guess that's what Katya felt when Duck... Well, now well, that was a, a long time ago. Ooh, kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking, it's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. Hell, I know I could. AJ could use a friend his own age. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Helped him forget about all this. For a moment, anyway. I'm sure it helped you, too. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She 
she was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. I guess I'm just... happy? All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. <laughs> How about this one, little man? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. You have to give AJ back, please. He needs me. I need him. That's just not gonna happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen. It's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. I used to have Lee. 
You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. All right. I'll do it. Well, where is he? He's... He's at the McCarroll Ranch. A few miles west of here. He's really alive. Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget, Joan's looking for you and your friends. You better hope she doesn't find you. I've got it. <laughs> Finally. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, I'm right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think, fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean... Sure, but this is different. We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. We move in fast. Guns blazing, and we take her out. Couple of bullets, problem solved. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but 
That's where the truck's parked. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. First the shit at the armory, now this? How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us. You little fucking asshole! You don't scare me. You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Jones' shit list?! <laughs> I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that! I don't want to see you ever again. Or well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Fuck off. All of you. If you don't think I fucking agonized about it, then you can all go to hell. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started and stuff. I don't know about the rest of you. But I didn't want to be here today. The people of Richmond deserve to be saved. David Garcia has to be punished for what he's done. Shit. We can't wait for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in danger. She's lying to all of you. I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am, but you all need to see. Just look what he's done. David ordered his brother and the rest of his people to kill our doctor. And they were happy to do it. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. Can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. I knew Joan was willing to fight dirty, but 
This is taking it to the next level. We gotta be ready to match her game. I think you're right. Javier! I'd heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Fuck that, and fuck you, Joan. I don't have anything to say to someone who shit talks my family. Don't make this harder on yourself, Javier. Get up here, now. She knows we're here now, we might as well. We both know you killed Dr. Lingard. Why, Javi? Why would you do that to us? The only surgeon in a hundred mile radius, but you didn't care about that. Lingard saw what was happening in Richmond, what you were trying to do, and he didn't want any part of it. He asked me to spare him the sight of all this. You ask me, he's better off. Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Too bad you killed the only man who could back up your story. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. She was the one who alerted us to David's plot against Lingard. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you were coming here today to take me out. Add to your total. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off, considering it's all of us against the three of you. And that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Appreciate the honesty, which makes this so much harder. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no, they had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here, so I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Joan! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. If you're gonna punish anyone, it should be me, not them. So ready to sacrifice yourself for others. Don't worry, Javi. I'm not through with you yet. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid! You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. Do the right thing, Javi. Let Ava live. She's always been loyal. Javi! No! Well, there's the Javi I know. Backstabbing, double-crossing, no-good, dirty fucking murderer! Such language. But I admire the sacrifice you're making here, Javi. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Joan. No! Oh my god. They really shot her. God damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. 
This is madness. I can't let this shit stand, Clint. I can't wait for your process to save us. No. Think about this, Harvey. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're gonna handle this peacefully. Don't listen to them, Javi! They're fucking butchers! All of them! Shoot that bitch! Take her out! She deserves it! Go to hell, Joan! Get over there before... <laughs> 